Hello, my beloved out of character listeners. I have a special deal for you. Today is a solo episode, which means it's just Hamza, no Martin. Thank God. This happens every Wednesday on patreon.com slash OOC pod. And if you've been there, you dabbled and you like it, we have a special promo right now for a limited time. If you buy a year in advance, that is 60, five times 12, you will get free merch from outofcharacter.store. There are four bundles right now. You can either get a crew neck and a sticker pack, t-shirt and a sticker pack. There's another, there's a shopping cart tee, face tee, beanie, whatever you like, limited time, check sizes, styles that are in supply. Go check it out, guys. This is, it's free. It's free stuff. It's free merch or a free year's worth of Patreon. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Half glass, half cup, half empty. Your choice. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another solo episode. No Martin here. Thank goodness. I know many of you love him, and and a lot of you guys are here for him. I know that. But he'll be here next week. You just hang on. He's too busy having his parents over, I think, right now. Great people from Croatia. They're staying in his living room on a queen-sized air mattress for the ongoing, for, for the past 48 hours. I've been alone. I haven't had him in my presence can't even call him. He's too busy taking them to hole-in-the-wall Italian joints here in the Six. Which, <laughs> if anyone knows the Six, that's what we're known for, is hole-in-the-wall Italian handmade pasta. It's true. That is the joke. It, it's really not. There's not a lot of good spots. There's some. You can find. If you want, if you... I'm going to take a sip of this coffee before I... I did... um sort of relapse on cough caffeine and that's a that's insensitive i shouldn't use that word in that context i'm really trying to sit straight on this beanbag and it feels so um man gay where's martin to check me i need someone here to correct me i'm saying words i'm not supposed to i'm saying i said gay it's been 40 seconds it feels wrong. I've got my tush out in my, but I'm going to do it for, um, because it, you ha- you should, you should have your back straight and you should be confident. I did relapse. I've already said relapse and gay. It's been 40 seconds. It hasn't been 40. It's been 10 coffee, caffeine. I'm back on it. I was a month clean until yesterday at 3 PM when I found out diet Coke has 45 milligrams of caffeine and when I tell you I thought I was what's the guy in Limitless the movie Limitless Brayden I was like him Brayden Clark the actor hot guy he was in Hangover Hangover 1, 2, 3 I felt like him I got so much done on a little Diet Coke. That's all it took. Hey, Church's Chicken. You know what's crazy? I asked for a Coke Zero. Hey, Church's Chicken. I asked for a Coke Zero because it tastes better. Now I find out it's zero because it's zero caffeine, zero sugar. That could have saved me from buying an iced Americano this morning and sitting here sweating in a beanie. Now I'm fully back. I'm fully back in. I have, there's no going back and I feel so good and I never want to feel not like this again. It's disgusting. It's gross. I just walked to a, I walked a block and I went to a new coffee spot. It's a block away from a Starbucks. So I'm, I'm, and it's a small one. So I say, Hey, let's go local Starbucks. I don't know. Are they funding missiles in Palestine? Let me do my part. And, and buy a $4.50 iced Americano. That's, my, that's how I help. 
That's me doing my part. It's more than some of you. Some of you say this pipe pumpkin spice is worth a war crime. And I'm telling you now, it's, it's not. So I get this iced Americana because that's what you get when you go to a new coffee spot. That's, that's where you get your footing, your gr- you, you ground yourself. Hey, it doesn't get much um, more raw than this. This is the cheese pizza, the Dave Portnoy, the rating. This is how you do it. One sip. That's all it is. That's all it takes. And I'm going to do it right now just to give you a rating. That's fantastic. And I just washed it in my mouth. I've never done that. Now all my teeth are going to stain to be yellow. I walk down to this place. It's four fifty for this thing. Look, I don't tip. I don't tip. Why would I tip? You just, you turn around, you spun around. This thing's already in a big jug. You poured it out for me. And I ran out of there before anyone, before I fall in love. It's got good plants. It's got plants. It's got vibes in there. Beautiful Asian women. Let me get out of there before I fall in love. And I need to come back to reassess. I bounce. On my way home, I stop by this garage sale. I saw it on my way there, and, and now I'm like, okay, I've got my coffee. I've got, I'm at a garage sale. Only thing I'm missing is a stupid little white dog, and, 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 and I'm a white woman now, I guess, which I've always wanted to be. I go to this garage sale. Okay, some of you know bankruptcy has different meanings in different neighborhoods. You know, hood bankruptcy used to be selling your PS4 as a man. Today, it seems to be DoorDash, Uber Eats. That's like you saying, hey, I've I've got no other options at the moment, but I'm hopeful. One day, I'll buy the PS5 back, and it'll be the P- the, the Spider-Man 2 version, and, and, it, and all will be swell when I get this promotion. Hey, I'm delivering some food now, but it's just for the time being. I'm going to get back on my feet soon. There's a new one. For young white people, and I saw it with my own eyes. And it was the scariest thing I've ever seen. I see homeless people. I see food prices. These are signs of a deep recession and unemployment. This one was new. This one was scary. When I tell you I walked up to this table... And it was just two non-binary people in beanies. I'm on Church Street. This is like hipster, non-binary central, which is a lot of fun. I'm here this, I'm here for a reason. One day I will be there. This beanie is doing wonders for me right now in that, in that department. I think I'm sweating because of this caffeine. I feel like, an, I feel like a, a crazy person. I pull up to this garage sale. And it is trinkets. It is a white person selling their trinkets. I'm talking little ceramic things from Goodwill. I'm talking embroidery patches. Mugs with with funny sayings. Like a a, a box for sugar with with like a hammer and sickle. From like the 70s. For $25. They've lost their minds. I almost I almost folded. I'm, t- I'm talking about a box full of piggy banks. How, many, how much change do you have? Hey, why is this piggy bank wearing a dress? Like it's just a, it's just a pig in a dress. From like the 1960s. Where do you find this? You freak. Don't sell this. This shouldn't be in anyone's hands. It was the saddest thing I've ever seen. It's this is the new when it when there's like sadness when you see someone in trouble and then you see and then you see a white person in trouble and it's like, "Oh man. It's got okay. 
I don't want to see this. Let's, whatever legislation we need to pass, that's, that's basically how war works and, and international politics. Oh, there's someone, there's people dying war, but white people in war. This is trouble. And it's true. Even for me, I am not white and, and many of you are not, but you, you agree. It's scary. If you see a bomb dropped in the Middle East footage of a place exploding, a, a hospital, whatever, okay, you might feel something. You see thing that dropped in, in Germany, you see that bomb dropped in Amsterdam, in Copenhagen, Geneva, Switzerland, Greece. And then you see white people in trouble, then then we're all in trouble. So I see this poor woman in a beanie or or man, I couldn't tell. And I'm trying to negotiate for a price. I'm <laughs> I like a trinket. I'm not going to lie to you. I do. But $25 for a box f for, for sugar from the 70s? No good. I don't know if you can see it in the corner, but I just dropped an entire plant trying to open the window. I'm sweating profusely. I feel like I don't know. I'm embarrassed by how much this is doing to me, and I'm going to keep drinking this Americano. I don't care. I don't care. You're watching a 30-day streak of self-control down the drain. And it's never felt so good. All I could think of is what's next? What's the next rule I'm going to break today? What? Because that's, that's how my brain is. I don't know how yours is. But if I break a good streak, I have to break them all. I have to, I'm going to punch a baby. I, that's, not, that's a streak I haven't even started. I'll make a new bad one. I don't care. When I do something no good, I'm telling you, if I'm Uber Eatsing, I'm also getting drugs delivered to my home at the same time. And I might be naked. And I might, I don't know, be like showering in, in for 30 minutes. I might say, who cares about the water bill? I don't know. All the bad stuff need to start, go at the same time. I regret taking my vitamins this morning. I should have just broke that one too. It's fun uh, convincing yourself that you're a bad, bad boy. That way you actually never really do the really bad stuff. So if an Americano is, is just as naughty as I'll get, then um, then I think that's fine. Um, then, I'll, then I'll really be away from the, the really bad stuff, like OnlyFans and things like that. But I've been having fun, guys. I have. The Patreon is a lot of fun. I know some of you guys take a peek. Take a peek there. You can actually get subscribed for free, but you're not going to be able to see anything except some stuff that's released for free people. Every once in a while, we'll drop a uh, a little something, maybe a, you know, a quick promo, something like that, so you can be informed of that. But every Wednesday, I'm there, and every Sunday, I'm at Martin's, just so you know. I've been having a lot of fun. It's Halloween time, and it, I'm always convinced. Every year, it takes me so by surprise because I have no social life. It's a very specific week weekend which is this weekend. When I see people posting Halloween costumes and, and going to Halloween parties, but I'm like, guys, it's, it's October 20, 20th. Aren't you guys doing that? Or aren't we? <laughs> aren't I invited also to go to do it next weekend or no? And I feel like I missed it because every year it slips past me. I've got my Travis Kelsey jersey. I I Amazon Prime to uh a bike helmet and I'll put on some shorts. And Martin's going to dress up as um as T Swizzle. I got to find him a nice lace front, something nice and a and a dress. But we're ready to go. We're ready to party. 
I just need the invite. And, I, and every every weekend, I always think, it. well, why wouldn't it be next weekend? Oh, it's both. Oh, it's both. Oh, you are just so popular that you have two costumes for two different weekends. You are just so popular, aren't you? Mm. I hate you. And I hate, and I hate that I cannot control myself with this. And it's just so good. The coffee was in one size. That's what that's what the small shops are doing right. I don't need to I don't need a small medium law. I don't need to think about that right now. Because I am a I am a frugal man. I'm a mathemat I'm a I'm a mathematically frugal man. I'm gonna find out which one's the bang for the buck, and it's gonna be the large, and then I'm gonna be six dollars in, and then I'm gonna hate you. Just give me a four fit four four dollars and give me whatever size and make me feel like I've got ants in my skin. And that's it. That's all I can ask for right now. I hope you guys are doing good. Um the fall is upon us. Today's the first forty eight degree you know, every day's a first now for the year, so we're approaching. Not for the year, it got it was cold beginning, but the season. And it feels good. I mean, I, now that I've rolled down the window, it feels good. And, I, and it does makes makes me miss um, every time. Every time it's nostalgic. It's like I'm being reincarnated as a single man all over again. But I'm I'm strong. And I'm not worried about getting through this uh, this winter. I've got things like this, Americanos. I might get some more of the, those trinkets. I'll, I'll walk around the city. I've got my costumes. I don't care. I've got you guys. I was served up some advice from the mysterious algorithm that is um, social media. I don't even remember which one it was. And I always get better advice from these apps than anyone I know ever. And it's something we should admit. The admission is this. All of our thoughts, ideas, um, interests are, are from you know, one of three places. And those are places made by our billionaire tech overlords. But it's always good because it's made just for me. And this is what the advice was. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to remember, but I'm going to destroy it. But the effect it had on me is, is true and real. It's like sometimes a, a certain part of your life can seem so overwhelming and overtakes you, a, a certain plight you have. And then you're just thinking about it all the time and it only makes it harder and it compounds. Like being broke, like being single, things like that. What I have found for me that works is if you're busy doing other stuff, then you can't even think about this plight that you have. And it sort of becomes easier to tackle when you don't have time to do it, if that makes sense. To me, it's, uh, I almost imagine this is what parenting, parent, parenting is like. If you got a job and you got kids at home and you got a wife, and then you also want to try training for a marathon, it's probably not the hardest because you're already a boss at work. You're a boss with your wife. You, you handle the kids. You grill meats, whatever the ideal life is like. So when you slip in 30 minutes a day to jog around the neighborhood, it kind of just fits. So if you've got other, you know, things that you are doing relatively well, your work, you play basketball, you cook, I don't know, you're Uber Eats and you're selling trinkets on the street. Then when it comes time to um, find love and you meet someone on the street or at a corner, it's really, uh, it's, Hey, don't waste my time. Let's get to the bottom of this. You're not some a ball of borderless thoughts. That's what an Americano feels like. That is that's what it feels like on the brain. It's a mind it's a stream of consciousness. That's my favorite thing to call a conversation a stream of con- uh, of consciousness because that's what it is. No, this is really a stream of consciousness. 
and it's it's almost unconsented to some of you guys. So you didn't know what you were going to walk into. You didn't know I had 450 to spare this morning. I dropped a a a 6 pound cactus 15 <laughs> minutes ago. And there's dirt all over my kitchen. You ever see that guy who does acid and he just records it? I I this is kind of a a far shot. It's not always acid. It's always a new drug. This bald guy on YouTube, he's got these panda eyes. Is that a... I don't know if that's a dog whistle to abuse or something. I think so. Which, in that case, I'm using it wrong. He's got very sunken and dark eyes. And then he'll just take a psychedelic or, or, or more. He'll do like Molly or acid. And he just sits in front of the camera and describes how he feels. I feel like that on a... Th- on a third of co- a third of a cup, man. Okay, this also means I got. I can't do this again. Then I'm a month clean, and this is what I thought I could just bounce back. I'm not made for this. I understand decaf now, unfortunately, but I mean that's neither here nor there. There's multiple wars going on in this world, and you chose to listen to a man in a funny hat tell you about how we can't handle a cup of coffee that's what i'm here for i really am i i've never taken more breaks on a podcast than this one video watchers are seeing a couple cuts here and there i'm having to walk this off keep me away from this will you i feel fine now just a little head rush it's embarrassing it's embarrassing how much fun i have with myself i live alone And I have so much fun doing it. And I'm so worried about that every day. Because every time I experience, experiment slash experience someone else, cohabitating with them, it is worse in some area than being alone. And it's not right. Humans are not made to... um, stay home, have a little experiments with their, with themselves, drink a little something here, eat something new, and see how your body reacts. I am a lab rat to myself. I put myself in this own prison, but my prison has plants. Hey, this is not... Guys, this isn't prison. I have plants, and I can also... And I'm also growing green onions so i bought green onions from the store and i chopped them up but i took the little roots and i put them in water and then and then once they started sprouting there then i moved them to dirt guys this is in prison i can do that i have things i can do like that i'm no i really am having fun and i'm grateful every day it's fun making problems your problems will fill your privilege. Every time people, you know, are like, dude, this is a privileged person, okay? This is a first world problem. Don't listen to them. Oh, this is cringe. This multimillionaire is complaining about what? Daddy doesn't love them. Guys, there's something about life. They didn't tell you this and they didn't tell me this either, but your problems will always be the same size, no matter how big they are. And there'll always be new ones. So when when I hear something about some kid didn't get a little Uzi at his bar mitzvah, I, I'm, I sympathize. I'm sorry. I, I'm sure you're sad. And then someone says, there are bigger problems in the world. Shush. Shut up. Can you shut up? We're focused on this young man's bar mitzvah right now. Your problems are, I mean, I've, in my experience, have always filled the shoes. And once I realized that, it's like, okay, so you're never going to go away, and that's fine. I need to cohabitate with you. And you're going to always be ever-shifting into new forms and disguising yourself. But it's all the same thing. It's always the same boss you fought again and again. And in, in that way, I've literally become the chillest person on earth because nothing is new to me. 
this is why psychedelics have become a cool thing for, for young kids to do. Because once you have figured out the grooves of habit and nothing surprises you in your brain, sort of predicts the next motion. I do things often to surprise myself. I walk into karaoke with no friends. I've done this multiple times. And there's always a group of non-English speaking Chinese people who will embrace you with open arms. I have a video I have a video of me trying to sing Chinese in Chinese with other Chinese people and they were loving it. I will never post it because somehow it seemed um insensitive even though I was surrounded by the clan. But surprising yourself can uh can mean something, you know, it's something new for everyone. And it's okay if it's a baby step. I'm not saying sing Chinese ASAP. Uh, I'm just saying that's all it takes. Find somewhere, honest, honest to goodness, fi- having this podcast and the, and the Patreon g- and just having people you can talk to about what happened or, or some sort of journal or some sort of record makes it way easier to do something for the story makes you much more of a yes person and and that's something i didn't ex- you know expect even though i'm not sitting here running um i don't know like a top 10 pod or something i'm not what i'm hearing it's just being able to say it and it's like hey this is something i could say i've done i went to a barbecue in a graveyard with someone from TikTok. That's something I can say. Can you say that? No. And that's all life is. Is just what can you say? What did I do? What did I say? What 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 do I... What does he say? This guy. And I'm not, I'm not a fan of that guy. The one in the car in the back seat. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. That man, no, um, that person, what does she say, is not real. I'm telling you, that guy's got something coming for him. I don't know what. I am putting bad energy into the universe on that guy. He's a bad influence. And um, what did I say? What do I say? That one. Do you know what I'm talking about? Maybe it's because he's from Toronto as well, and I'm feeling his energy on the streets. People walk in different, more, more sass, but... He's got something coming. God is going to punish him for what he's done. And I'm just letting him know. You know, don't be surprised. I almost took another sip of this stuff. I'm going to keep this away from me. I'm going to push it away from me. Um, And I'm going to walk this off after. Yeah. And I'm never drinking coffee again. I'm scared. I'm scared. (laughs) So whatever it is for you, I recommend this week, take that step. Um, Just for the story, it's fine. Just talk to someone. I mean, wear a costume. It's Halloween and all that. I don't know. Get crazy. Put on a costume. Um, Get crazy. Go get a coffee or something. That's something I found is a lot more, um, is, uh, is, is good for just mixing it up. That's all. Today's the last day. You're going to die tomorrow. What do you do? Karaoke. I'm going to go sing Chinese right after singing Love is an Open Door by Elsa and her and her boy Ting. I don't even know his name because I don't care. I didn't watch the movie for him. Hans? Oh, that's probably it. Never mind. Maybe I do know it. I don't care. I was there for Elsa and Anna. I'm not. I'm not. I don't even know that reindeer. There's some talking snowman. Love is an open door. That one's dangerous. It's dangerous in the karaoke because people don't know they know it. And if you don't know, you know it. And then you sing it with someone. You're going to be convinced that, oh my God, we're in love. Because with you, with you, with you, with you, love is an open door. You know? And I did that. This woman, this young Chinese woman couldn't even speak English. 
Hardly. She knew the basics. She knew enough to book the karaoke. And that song comes on and I hand her the second mic. She's like 35. You know, Frozen came out when she was, what, 34, 33. And she knew word for word. And in that moment when we looked in each other's eyes, we saw a future together. Ooh, I feel like I'm in confession or something. Give me one of those little biscuits. I have no clue what the ceremony is. But it, um, what I, I think happens is this: the priest gives you a little biscuit and you dip it in some wine. And then once you're feeling tipsy enough to confess, they take you into a like a kissing booth of sorts. But instead of kissing... You convince that you play, you, 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 you confess that you play with yourself. And that's what God wanted. <laughs> really. That's probably, that was probably end game when uh, Jesus did his thing. So I've always been kind of envious of that process. And um, just curious. That might be my next one is I just walk in, uh, walk in on Sunday and, and sit, you know, I brought the wine. Who brought the crackers? I'm ready to spill the beans. But, um, yeah, I mean, the combination of the coffee um, and my posture and just everything right now has led. This is maybe the most scattered episode I've done. There's many cuts. Video watchers are seeing little, little sneaky cuts here and there. I have no choice. I'm getting up, running, running around the block, going to the garage sale, looking at the trinkets again. And I'm coming back regrouped. I feel like this is, um, I'm the coach and you guys are the team. And I'm going out, except the coach plays. Come back, regroup, half times, the fourth half time. And I let you know the, what's up. Um, if you guys are ha- having a little dilemma, you could send in your question or um, kind of scenario you're going through. Please give some sort of age, location, something to, to draw a picture to, for the imagination. Out of Character Pod on Instagram. We also do much more of these on the Patreon. So check those out. I cannot promise any of this will be useful, um, but I'll, I'll let you know. Here we go. Advice. Gabby says, hi, Martin and Hamza. There's no Martin, just me. I'm in college and I'm not really staying motivated. And it's all honestly more difficult to make friends than I anticipated. So I guess I'm just wondering what advice do you have to keep motivated in college and how to make friends? By the way, your content always makes me laugh, especially when I'm feeling down and need to pick me up. This is not Chad GPT, guys. This is really Gabby from university in college. Thank you so much for that nice message. And I wish you the best. Here's what I have to say. College, drop out now. Sell your trinkets. No, I'm just kidding. Not yet. If it gets bad, hold on to your trinkets as long as you can, Gabby. There's no need to sell your... I can't I can't believe it. I'm going to go take a picture of it. I'm going to go take a... And I have to show you. It was... Cr- it's crazy. White people have lost their mind. It was $25 for a ceramic frog. Dude, I will air this place out. Yes, I do want it. You have your customer here. That is from Value Village. That is from the Salvation Army. Give me that frog for $5 now or I will blow this house down. University, here's my advice, okay? Honestly, if you're new to the game... Here's what I heard. This is hearsay. I've never experienced this myself. I I got accepted, but I didn't go last minute because I found um, a microphone under my bed and said, "This, this is my this is my education." I would say this: just get your feet wet, honey. Sorry, get your feet wet, sister. Everyone's in your shoes in university, especially now, especially now. You know how, how easy it is to have fun alone? That's the problem. That's the problem. It is hard to change something in your life when it's not terrible. If it is okay, 
then you don't know how much better it can be. You can have a lot of fun alone. You are, you are here with me. You've been here listening to me for like 40 minutes. You couldn't do that back when we had whale wax candles and soccer balls made out of pig skin. It's true. We couldn't. We couldn't do this. You know how privileged you would be a hundred years ago to have music, listen to music while you cook your breakfast. You had to be a king, a queen of a nation to be, to be listening to music while you scramble some eggs. So it is way too easy to have fun alone. So you don't know how, how good it can be. You don't know what you're missing. This is similar to Martin when I was telling him to get out of Ottawa. Ottawa, nice town. If you're 30 and you're white and have a and a and raise dogs and sell bibs, I don't know. I hate it. It's weak. It's for people with weak bones. And he's like, I know it's bad, but it's not that bad. How much better can it be over there? And the move is going to be bad and you are going to have to assimilate. But once you figure out the mustard you've been missing out on, the hot dog's going to taste that much better. Yeah, I do this for a living, guys. I make mustard. <laughs> I do dick jokes for a living. I love that. I love when comedians do that. It's just like, come on, who says that? Ah, there's an originator of that. I do dick jokes for a living. Who is that? Whoever you are, you should be assassinated. So, it is going to be funky to find a friend group, to find a club, to to socialize. And it's going to be really sucky before you figure out why it was worth it. But um, I'm telling you right now, it is, it's worth trust. It is a primal need to make friends. It is primal. It is human. You are satisfying a human need. There is hunger, thirst, and loneliness, like anti lone meeting, talking to people. It's one of the it's one of the human living things. The things you need to live. So yeah. Get your feet wet, darling, and um I've called you darling. I've called you honey. I called you sweetheart, I think. What else do you need? Um, try not to have too much fun alone. When you're alone, just be busy. Don't don't drink, smoke, none of that. Especially when you're alone, because then it's even more fun. <laughs> Ooh, how much fun? How much fun can you have alone when you're doing that? Introduce something new. So try to have fun when, when you're with people, really. It's hard, but it's no, it's never going away. So tackle that problem head on guys. That is some great advice. That's worth it. Really. That's worth $5 a month on Patreon. I'm there every Wednesday. Remember the promo uh, entered at the, uh, the beginning of the episode. This is the most scattered episode I've ever done, but I feel free, but I'm free. Thanks for listening. I'll see you Sunday with Martin. Bye guys.